I think my 19 female boyfriend 21 male is GY and is cheating on me with my brother 21 male. Throwaway account and English is only my second language so apologies for incoming grammatical errors. I'll call my boyfriend in this story as Eli and my brother as John. I have been with Eli for three years now and he's charming. Attractive. Smart. Which are all characteristics that I turn on to. Meanwhile there's John who's like the typical high school crush, and I do admit he's handsome that I heard a few girls in high school even my female cousin had a crush on him once before. Eli keeps asking me a lot of questions about my brother during our dates, and it's okay for me but sometimes it gets so much that it annoys me sometimes, which made me sometimes teased, and made fun of him that he has a crush on him which I feel like he does. Three days ago. My parents weren't at home so he visited me because we're going to the mall, and was waiting for me to get dressed and while we're talking. I can see him blushing to John. I didn't mind it then I walked into the bathroom and took a shower. Then I heard him and John walk into his bedroom and lock the door. I continued showering and basically threw out my 10 minute shower. It was like dead silent. When I got out of the bathroom, I heard some moaning noises in John's bedroom as if like they're having X. After I put on my clothes for like a few minutes, I walked closer to John's bedroom door and hear him say I am gonna come and moaned. I banged on the door and asked if everything's alright, and I suddenly heard them wearing their pants and opened the door. John said they're just playing video games and stuff I know he's lying. So afterwards we spent together some time in the mall. When we were at the mall, I saw him holding hands with Eli and when I tell them, they said it was an accident. When we came home, I asked John if he's gay and have feelings for Eli. He's nervous and is really shaking. I can see tears on his eyes and said no and walked into his bedroom. I really know he's lying but he just can't say it. I was confused and mad at the same time that I messaged Eli that I wanna break up with him for cheating on me with my brother. He kept lying saying they were just friends even though I have already seen everything and the obvious signs. A moment later. When I tried to walk into John's bedroom to talk with him. He was crying really hard while calling Eli. Talking about his relationship with me and that he's a closeted gay and hasn't came out to me and our parents. When I approached him. He finally admitted that he wants a relationship with Eli and he came out to me as gay. I was devastated and ran away from his bedroom very angry so John tried to hold my hand, telling me not to tell mom and dad about it first until he can do it. I am very devastated, confused, not knowing what to do. What can I do next? I know outing John is a bad idea but I can't cope with the fact that he's into Eli. Let your brother know you accept that he's gay and all. But he's ducking dead to you for ducking your boyfriend. This. His s swality doesn't mitigate the fact that he betrayed her. She's the last person he should expect support and understanding from. They're done. OP doesn't owe either man anything. She shouldn't out them but they certainly shouldn't expect forgiveness. Where was their concern for her? I mean she was in the house and they couldn't control themselves. She should make it clear she's effectively bowing out of their relationship because of his treatment of her, and that it has nothing to do with him being gay. I won't tell our parents he's gay, but I won't go easy on him. I know he's been a very good brother for me but this is just so out of the blue. If only he told me before. I will be open to end my relationship with Eli and make way for them. But no. They backstabbed me and worse. Betrayed me. Either I tell John to move out temporarily because our parents won't simply believe the fact that we are not mad to each other for simply nothing or dump Eli so that my relationship with John won't be broken. That's my only choice right now. Honestly. If they were having X. You have to know that Eli likes John more than you. I know it hurts why to hear. But your last sentence just says your brother likes your boyfriend. When it should say they both cheated. It hurts that me and Eli haven't had X yet while he chose to do it with John. The next move is to talk with Eli. 
when you're calm enough to have the conversation. He cheated on you with your own brother. Now's the part where you break up with him. Ask that he doesn't come by your home for a while. And probably ask if he plans to continue his and John's relationship. To keep you out of the loop as much as possible. Don't out either of them. Although they've hurt you. Outing them could put them in physical danger. If anyone asks why you guys broke up. Just say Eli cheated. It's the truth. No need to go into specifics. I know outing isn't a good idea. Rather I'll tell him to move out because he has a well-paying job. Finished college so he should be able to sustain himself. And me. John and Eli will meet together to discuss about this matter Oswell. Or tell our parents about what happened instead of how he betrayed me, but I won't say he's gay. Second story. I just found out my husband of four years went to a massage parlor and received oral X in August. He contracted chlamydia and unknowingly gave it to me. He found out he had an STD in October but failed to tell me. We had been struggling to conceive for two years and had a miscarriage in October 2020. Our fertility journey has been very hard on the both us. I fell pregnant last month in October but unfortunately the pregnancy was not viable as it was an ectopic pregnancy the fertilized egg implanted outside the uterus. I had to get emergency surgery to remove the pregnancy, as it had ruptured my fallopian tube, and I was bleeding internally. Since then I have been recovering at home from the surgery, and unbeknownst to me. I have been suffering from the symptoms of the STD. I thought they were related to my surgery, so I had been going to doctor's appointments trying to figure out what it could be. That's when he finally told me what he did, and how he gave me an STD. When he told me I thought it was a joke and for a good five minutes. I kept saying that it was a funny joke. That is how much I did not expect him to say that. He revealed to me that he used to go to massage parlors for X when he was a young man and before we met which was 10 plus years ago. He told me that he was upset about a lot of things in his life including the baby we lost last year. Work stress and a vacation we were supposed to go on but cancelled due to COVID. Which all contributed and triggered him to the massage parlor. He also told me he has an adult videos addiction which I knew about. But did not think it was serious. He said he went to the massage parlor to escape his reality and as a duck you to God. I believe he is remorseful. He has been crying with me the past week. He has been emailing therapists and marriage counselors. I believe he regrets what he did. My husband does not have a good support system. He is not close with anyone in his family and does not open up to friends. I am unbelievably hurt. I am sad and angry. I feel betrayed by my best friend. As crazy as it is. I still love him and care for him. I made a promise to him when we said our vows and now I'm left. Not knowing what to do. Any sane person would leave, but I want to try to make it work and help him. What would you do? Any advice or personal experience would be greatly appreciated. You're taking ownership for his abhorrent behavior. You are making excuses for his choices. He cheated. He lied. He put your health at risk. He sat around on the news that he gave you and Stee while you were recovering from a serious surgery as well as dealing with the trauma of dealing with the loss. As others have noted, it's unlikely it's just oral so he's trickle-truthing you. He had intercourse and it has undoubtedly been more than this one time. Scour credit card bills and get a forensic analysis of his phone. Do not forgive as you do not know what you're forgiving. There is more deceit and lies. He just got caught this time. He needs to show through actions that he is trying to fix his brokenness. He is making excuses. Many people deal with trauma but don't maliciously choose to inflict emotional, mental and physical steez trauma on their partner. He needs to seek out individual counseling for his ex-addiction and his willingness to inflict trauma on you. Nurse here. See this type of behavior often in the clinic setting. Want to remind you and all faithful. Loving. 
Forgiving spouses out there your literal life is on the line with these wayward spouses who are so reckless in their s-soul habits. HPV is a common diagnosis. As is herpes a issue. We are at still diagnosing people with HIV. My most devastating calls have been to young people under 25. Who really don't know what HIV AIDS is. The other calls that tear me apart to make are to long married. Newly. Divorced or widowed people who never thought this would happen to them. They never thought their spouse would jeopardize their health, and the latter group didn't think about the need to be self-protective. For childbearing women it is usually shocking when they are told that they are having infertility issues because of past STDs. STDs are serious and I shave taken care of people with gonorrhea. Syphilis and chlamydia in the brain all rare. But happens when people don't know they have these diseases. Please. Love yourself more than you love him. He has already demonstrated that he is reckless and careless. He is not going to stop without intense therapy. You have years of heartbreak and diseases ahead with this guy. No. They usually don't become more careful after STDs. There is a psychological rush that he gets from this. Many people who have this level of irresponsibility may have secret drug addictions that help to lower their inhibitions. Talk to you OBGYN and counselor about everything that I have discussed here. I am so sorry for you. I fear that this is the tip of the iceberg and you may discover more shocking things about your husband. Wishing you wisdom and strength. Sending you love. Second story. Wife seems serial cheater but maybe she has problems. Advice. We are in our end of 30s and we married 12 years ago. After the first year, I caught her s sting with her ex however they have not met in person. I wanted to break up but she cried and claimed she won't do it anymore. To be honest till today I get angry when I remember those days. Three years later I caught her again, as she was s sting with her co-worker for weeks. I totally broke. I was going to divorce but turned out it never went further than texts, so I have no idea why but gave her another chance. In meantime our little one born. Things seemed fine. For a while. About three years later she was caught again with s sting with a third guys. Then I had ebow I completely broke mentally so I told her she has to move out. After few weeks of begging and crying finally I gave her another chance. Obviously we had our little one already so that pushed me as well. Few days ago I caught her again s sting with one of her co-worker. That's the fourth guy since we married. She says she thinks something is wrong with her. Seems she has some weird addiction to feel other guys wants her. She wouldn't meet up with these people for X, but she needs that feeling they want her, and she wants to feel the pink cloud again and again. She says. And I see it too. She can't control it. Now I told her straight I want to divorce, I won't do this anymore. She been crying for two days now. She has other issues as well. She can't control her anger. It's like she explodes on little things what wouldn't even bother other people. She has days when she completely close in and kinda ignores the whole world around her just playing with phone and spend whole days in bed. Other days she is rushing around. Cleaning. Cooking. Et cetera like she is late and in mean times she piss herself off and yelling and slamming things. However these can be seen only by close family. She shows a completely different personality to everyone else outside of close family. What others see. She is bubbling. Always smiling. Chatting. She been like this for at least one zero years what I know about. I couldn't sleep in last two days and barely can eat. I am totally devastated. I have no idea what to do. I want to divorce but in meantime, I don't want to divorce. I have a feeling this is not intentional from her, but she has some real serious issues. Or do I just try to justify her bad behave hour? I have no idea what should I do or how should I handle this. What the hell are you doing? You're failing your child. By staying in this broken marriage. You are causing irreparable harm to your child. Why can't you see that? Your wife is broken. 
and shows no real effort to fix herself. Instead, she breaks you too. Now your child has two broken parents. How will your child grow up happy here? Give them a chance at seeing what a healthy and happy relationship. Otherwise, you are participating in generational abuse by teaching your child a poor example of what relationships look like that will cause them to have their own failing relationships. Be better for your child. She can't just claim some mental issue as an excuse. Has she even tried to get a therapist? If she truly thought this was an issue, she'd go find professional help. If she doesn't, it's more likely than not just her making an excuse in hopes you'll stay with her. She's broken. You can't fix her. Save your child. You should never set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.